Type B. Rotation 151-152. Duke on the road visiting the Charlotte 49ers. Laying six, six and a half. Actually, there are plenty of sixes. We're going to grade this at six if we take the favorite. Uh, on a total of 57 and a half. Uh, I assume you're looking to the favorite here. Yep. Yeah, yep. right? Yeah. 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 Lay it on. Okay. So I think that this is just a situation where uh, numbers from last year are being overweighted. Full stop. Um, so let's, let's run through the numbers from last year. Okay. Um, in terms of fumbles lost, Chase Bryce, the quarterback, where do you think he ranked nationally in terms of fumbles lost last year, Tony? I believe he came in first place in that category. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, do you know who was in second place in that category? Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. Dion Jackson, also of the Duke Blue Devils. Get out. <laughs> that's, that's fucking impossible. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's, yeah I'm with you. Cut Cliff ain't going to let that shit happen again. No fucking way. Yeah, this should be Duke minus 10, 10 and a half or something. Like, yeah, this number's a bargain. Uh, and I think... Last year, let me check. Hold on. You, do you know who led the NFL? I mean, excuse me, led college football in um, in, uh, in interceptions last year. Oh, darn it! I would if, if you, you caught me flat-footed. I bet you it's going to come to me in like five minutes. If you no, no, no. But this, no. This is, no, no, this is a layup. Chase Bryce. Did he really? Yep. <laughs> Did he really? He yes. The oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, that's, that, I mean, that's a good point. Okay. Wow. Okay. So on, on that App State ECU game where Chase Price will be the starter, I think he's not going to be put in the kind of positions where he's going to need to uh, pass the ball too much except out of play action. Uh, but there's a little additional upside that Chase Price has a turnover and there's a scoop and score for six. But anyway, like so Duke last year had exactly the leading thrower of interceptions nationally on the team and the number one and number two um, uh, leading individual players who turned over the most fumbles, who lost the most fumbles last year. Um, I, with these two guys both off the team, like obviously Duke is not going to be competing to win the conference or anything, but I just don't think they're going to be nearly as terrible as they were last year. And so I think people in their power ratings are, are undervaluing Duke. Like Duke should be a team that wins one game. They're not supposed to out of every year in every year and maybe beats up uh, on, on the bottom of the, the ACC when the, in a good year. Like this is a team that every two years or every three years should be bowl eligible. Right. Um, so I think people are just thinking like, oh, Duke was so terrible last year. Okay, right. I think this is, this is just a distortion. Um, it is an absolute distortion. But, this is a total, this, yeah, this is a total perception said, reality thing here. This is beautiful. I like this bet better than any of the next four picks I'm going to give you. And, except maybe the final one. Yeah, keep going. And, but, and this Duke team, okay, this Duke team last year, right? This Duke team that only had two wins last year. You know where one of those wins came from? It was a 53 to 19 skull fucking of these very 49ers. Exactly, Tony. Exactly. So, okay. Uh, Charlotte turned over the ball twice in that game. Uh, fine. Fine. Duke turned over the ball once. So I'm sure there is some flukiness, probably the matchup. 
should is was probably more evenly matched than um, the, uh, the 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 final score here. But come on, now this has been bet into inside seven, and this is now six and a half in some markets. That's just absolutely wild. The the Forty Niners are a fine team, and like all the sharps that I listen to or like quasi-sharps or whatever, or faux sharps are like, oh yeah, I love Wheel Healy. Like, you f- sons of bitches, none of you watch for Charlotte 49ers football. I, I love Group of Five football. I don't watch it. No one watches it. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, so I, I You're think- You're killing me. I love it. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, I love what Wheel Healy is doing in Charlotte. No one would- with two brain cells that you can rub together is watching the Charlotte 49ers play football. Um, so I, I don't know why there's so much love and respect here, except that there is a distortion uh, in terms of leaning upon or overweighting Duke's numbers from last year. I will provide a counterpoint, though. The roster is... Um, is shedding a lot of, of talent, either heading to the NFL. I think there's two guys on, on their defensive line that are off to the NFL, uh, two defensive ends, I believe. There's a significant amount of transfers in terms of their leaders and tackling, um, heading to transferring to other power five programs. So that's a significant concern. Um, like that, I, I, get that um but i think that this is like most people don't even watch duke games okay so i think this is a bunch of nerds crunching their crunching their numbers and and, uh on their power ratings and not watching any of this football so i i let's let's gonna let's trust the process here okay tony let's trust the process and say that everyone all these nerds are overweighting what happened in 2020 this is a new year a new season Let's lay.